Today in the Smuggler's Room, we're introducing you to the project that started it all and telling you why this simply wasn't good enough and why we're starting from scratch. That's coming up. What's up, you awesome geeks? I'm Brian Thompson, and welcome to the Smuggler's Room. We are about to start rolling out our official Smuggler's Room build, and it's gonna get nuts. This project is huge, so we wanted to give you the inside track so that you understand what it is we're about to do. So, yeah, we're gonna build a spaceship in my basement, and hopefully, throughout the process of this project, we'll be able to pass on some techniques and methods and provide a little inspiration for you. And let's face it, this is a ridiculous project. I don't want you to miss it. But before we get too far into where we're going, I've gotta tell you where we were. I've gotta give you a little history behind this project. Hey. Hi. I've been doing some research. Okay. And this book is full of a lot of really great things. Uh -huh. And it got me thinking, I wanna build a spaceship in the basement. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so you could imagine, she was a little confused, but my wife is super awesome and crazy supportive. So she said, All right, I guess, you know, if you just keep it to the corner of the basement, I guess that'll be okay. Just don't spill all over the place. Yeah, I can do that. So I tried, folks. I tried really hard. At first, we did just this. And then after a while, I expanded it to the back wall and we did this. And it still wasn't enough. So in reality, I, I wanted more. And I may have inadvertently started the entire basement project when my wife went out of town for a business trip. All in all though, my wife was totally supportive. She always has been with everything I've done. And she thought it was kind of cool. So there's that. So all of that happened in November of 2011. And this is what we did. So after all that work, this is what it ended up looking like. And it stayed this way pretty much until last month when I went down there, tore things off the wall, stripped it out and hauled it all out of the basement. Why did I do that? Because I'm nuts? Because I like wasting my time? No, not really. The truth is it never really lived up to my expectations and I didn't have the desire to finish it. I had learned a lot of techniques and methods along the way, but I had already done certain things or built certain parts. So we're sitting there one night and I'm looking at it and I'm saying, I can do better. I can make this very cool. And I can show all of you guys the things that I've learned. And if nothing else, provide a little entertainment along the way when you watch the chubby geek build a spaceship in his basement. So what's next? Where do we go from here? Well, have a look at these. These are the room renderings we did. And you can see from them that there's more. There's more of a plan. There's more visualized space. And to me, it's just more of everything I wanted. The room doesn't feel so haphazard. It's tied together and it feels like a movie set, which is what I was going for in the first place. When someone visits our entertainment room, I want them to have an experience. I want them to be wowed. When they leave, I want them to go, wow, that guy is nuts. Wait, no, wow, that guy is really cool. Now I have to give a huge thanks to my friend Greg. When I told him we were gonna redo the basement and I wanted more of a Millennium Falcon style feel to it, he sent over these images. These concept drawings that he created were designed to help influence me this time around and it really helped me realize the concept I was going for. Once I saw these, my mind exploded and from that point forward, I knew exactly what direction to take this project in. I'm also gonna post a link to Greg's build. It's kind of a small project, and when I say small, I'm using complete sarcasm. 
the man has built the most 100% screen accurate Millennium Falcon cockpit ever made by a fan. It is completely worth your time to check out the link and watch the video. All right, geeks, that's the project. That's the actual Smuggler's Room build. And now you've got a glimpse into my insanity. Now, if you subscribe to the channel because you liked all the other projects we've been doing for the last six months, don't worry, that's still gonna happen. And I've got a whole bucket full of them ready to get going. This is just gonna be a series that we're gonna interlace and kind of pepper in as we go. We're also gonna add some short videos on geekication and some tips and tricks working in the shop and with materials. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're as excited about this project as I am. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, so that way you don't miss an episode. If you did like this, please hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does mean a lot to me. And until next time, keep building something out of nothing.